Good morning, everyone. It's Laxor again. And having unlimited gold, it's not unlimited, right? Um, this is 5 million gold, which is really easily enough in this game. You will never really need more than that. And getting that is actually very easy. Now, key thing here is, this is there is no cheat code or anything, right? There's nothing, I'm not talking about exploits. I know people are exploiting the Merchant's Guild all the time. You're all assholes for doing that. Can people just not have fun with a game? Does everything have to be exploited every time? I don't know. But anyway, you make enough gold in this game if you just do it properly. And it's very, very simple. What you need to do is, when you start with the game, or even when you just start a new character, or even if you have already high level character characters, you want to go to high corruption. All right? You just want to go to high corruption. And especially with Cycle 2, with the Harbingers, the whole gold problem sort of solved itself. Because if you go through the high corruption, which you have to, you have to go to 300 to even kill the last harbinger, right? Um, you get a lot of gold anyway. Plus, they did in cycle 2, um, increase the gold drops regular, like everywhere. You get more gold everywhere. So this is not really a problem anymore. But even then, if you go through the high corruption monoliths, you drop way more gold than usual. So what I did when I started with this game... And if you are currently having gold problems, what you should be doing is, very simple, you take one character you have um, that is high high level, that is already at high corruption, anything over like 200 corruption, something like that. And you just keep playing monoliths, on echoes rather, with this guy, okay? Because then you sort of pile up a lot of gold with this one character and it's shared across all your characters, right, on your, on your account. So... This is one thing. Another thing, another later is also important. Um, but this is sort of same thing in real life, by the way. There's two things. You actually want to stop spending money stupidly and you want to increase your income. And you do increase your income usually by making more money, right? In the real life. But in this game, you do it by running high corruption monoliths and especially running the monoliths that have the gold thingy on there. Always go for shrines because um, there might be a shrine of wealth. Always go for these. Selling items to the vendors is kind of useless. I wouldn't really recommend that. And don't really get much money from that. It's kind of pointless. But always go for the gold echoes and just farm shrines and just farm echoes in general. Killing mobs in higher corruption gives you more money. Okay? More gold. This is the making more money or more gold thingy. It's not really a crazy thing. But one thing that most people do not actually do is save your money there is only one thing you really need a lot of gold for in this game and that is stash tabs right <clears throat> the other thing is of course respecking or even um buying blessings that does cost maybe 10 to 20 grand every now and then but that's not really a big deal what you spend most of your money on is stash tabs because at this point i have a bunch of them as you can tell um if i get a new stash tab it's i think 300 grand which i can easily afford now but i'm still hesitant to buy more stash tabs than i already have and have always have been because like initially i didn't have this sort of structured stash thingy i had only one in helmets like one for each type really and now i have five with one handers and even that needs to be and actually need to go over these and throw out the ones that are bad bad because the higher you get in corruption and especially with the nemesis system you get a lot of great exalted items that have maybe two or even three exalted affixes on it so you can just throw all these these old ones that have this one shitty affix maybe there's some tier six is this one for example tier six with one tier six affix i would probably throw out now because i have way better ones already in my stash this way i don't actually have to buy new stash tabs all the time i can re reuse the existing ones by throwing out bad items that i don't need now, don't be too crazy about cleaning up your stash tab because obviously you want to hold exalt items to an extent. I made a video about this recently because um, you want to have all the affixes to slam on your items, right? So there is a there is sort of a break even point or like a sweet spot where you throw out more items and keep enough to actually have to have enough to slam on your items. 
What worked for me so far is having the ones you need the most, which have the best affixes, are usually the weapons, right? Weapons and um, body armor. So this is why you also see why I have a lot. I have four helmets, I have four body armors, and I have five one-handles and four two-handles. Gloves are not that important. Um, belts and boots are not that important. Jewelry is, I mean, they are small, so you can have a lot of them in there. But especially two-handers. I don't play many two-handers because I still think they're mostly bad. But one-handers, as you can tell, is all filled up here. So you want to have more of these. You want to have a lot of these to slam on your items because usually on the weapons you gain the most benefit out of it on your, in your damage. And you want to have a lot of armor because the armor usually has the, the plus the three or four to specific spells. Same with the helmets. So you want to have these to slam on your items as well as they are usually very powerful because they can also have the prefixes like int, like your, your class-based um, attribute you wanna you wanna buff. So this is where you really want you want to what you want to focus on armor, helmets, and the weapons. Everything else is not that important. And with this, you can really keep your stash tab somewhat low, right? You don't have to throw millions of gold into stash tabs while making more in the same sense. So I mean, once you get to like five million, like I have, you don't really need. You know, like I could buy a bunch of. Um, stash apps no problem but i'm still being hesitant about it i guess that's how rich people do it right they make a lot of money but still don't spend it stupidly so there's a real life lesson in this for you today <laughs> not just a gaming lesson but that, that's how i do it and it worked well for me um now if there is no real way to accelerate your gold drops when you just start a new character in cycle you just have to go with this all I can really recommend for new cycle characters is that you do not buy many items from the vendors. It's better to find items and then forge them, right? Because forging is free. It only costs you forge potential and materials, which you won't have many initially either. But you don't need a super strong gear in the early game. You will get better ones later anyway. So spending money at the vendor is pretty useful. I, I never buy from the vendors anything except... The first time I get into the Keeper's Camp, the very first time, and I have no gear whatsoever, I look into a magic item that I can use, uh, maybe a helmet or whatever, but then everything after that, I ne never visit the vendor ever again. I don't even buy the Shattering Runes, no need for that, they're expensive as well. So the vendors in this game are pretty, pretty useless in my eyes. So that's for new psychic characters, but if you have existing ones, Especially if they share with other characters, if you don't play the SSF, you actually share things. Um, then this, I think, making use of the gold you have the best way is the best thing. Also, one last thing I wanted to know uh, mention. The Lightless Arbor Dungeon, at the end, has a thing where you can spend gold to get items, right? This is sort of the, the thing of the Lightless Arbor Dungeon. Don't do it. I double dare you, don't do it. It's fucking useless. It costs a lot of gold and you get shit items you don't want. Do not do it. It's much better to go for the CEO the Circle of Fortune and get prophecies or in your merchant skill buy items. Do not do the Lightless Arbor one. That's a complete waste of gold. I've done it in the past. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay, this was it for becoming rich, a rich bitch in Last Epoch. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below or if anything is unclear. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.